Hello mga kadoming! Welcome back to my channel! It's another day, it's another vlog, and it's another doming talk! You know many of us aspire to become a doctor, pero at some point, mapapa second thought ka at mapapaisip ka na kaya ko ba to? Kaya ba akong ituguyod ng parents ko? Kasi ang mahal ng tuition sa medical school dito sa Pilipinas. Alam niyo ba, ngayon, based sa survey, ang tuition fee sa medical school is approximately 50 to 100,000 or more. Depending on the school program or depending on your institution. One semester lamang yan guys. Patiyan kasama ang pagkain, boarding house, panggastos araw-araw, allowance, ano-ano pang panggastos sa medical school. Lahat ng galaw mo, kailangan ng pera. However, God is good. Pag may buhay, may pag-asa. Hulog ito ng langit kung baga. Dahil, pwede ka nang mag-aral ng medisina dito sa Pilipinas for free or less. Yes, you're right guys. How I wish I knew that earlier nung nag-aaral pa ako. Oh guys, libre talagang mag-aral ng medisina dito sa Pilipinas. Gusto nyong malaman? Well, please do finish watching this video. Please do like and subscribe and comment down below kung meron pa kayong racket na alam para makatulong sa iba pang mga medical students. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Let's go! Guys, alam niyo ba na napakaraming opportunities and ways na pwede nating ma-avail para makapag-aral ng medical school ng libre? But what I am about to tell you is the most popular one and highly recommended ng mga medical school fans ko. It is called the DOH Scholarship Program. Yes, DOH Scholarship Program. Well, ano nga ba ang DOH Scholarship Program? is open to all bona fide citizen of the Republic of the Philippines. Basta Pinoy ka, pasok ka. No matter kung anong kulay mo, anong height mo, or sa ang probinsya ka pagaling guys, basta Pinoy ka, pasok ka. However, disclaimer lamang po, based sa guidelines ng DOH, priority will be given to prospective students from low-income families. From geographically, isolated and disadvantaged areas of the country from indigenous communities or national minorities dependent government employees and active police and military personnel victims of calamities barangay health workers and traditional birth attendants Pero, hindi ibig sabihin na kapag mayaman ka, hindi ka na maka-avail. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po, more likely, sila po ang yung nasa top ng priority ng DOH Scholarship Program. Now, what is DOH Scholarship Program? What do students and families need to know? DOH has partnered with the different medical schools in the country to allow students to avail their scholarship. Included sa scholarship package, DOH will cover their tuition fee cost and provide partial support to many other additional expenses accrued during studying time. Now, next questions. What are the DOH partnered medical schools? Well, let's know them one by one. First on the list from the National Capital Region, University of the Philippines, Manila. Hello sa mga UP friends and pamantasan ng lungsod ng Manila. Next, Region 1, University of Northern Philippines, Vigan, Ilocos Sur. Nako, napakaswerte mo kapag noon ka nag-aral kasi 
Heritage City of the South, guys. Sa karaming pwedeng galaan. With the beautiful sceneries, ang dami pang masasarap na pagkain, warm and nice people, and of course, guys, ang pinaka-favorite, pwede kang magkalesa <laughs> papuntang medical school. <laughs> Region 2, Cagayan State University, Tugigarao City, Cagayan. Next, Region 3, Angeles University Foundation, Angeles City, Pampanga. Nung gumala kami sa Pampanga, guys, na pumunta kami sa school nila, guys, CC Capital of the Philippines ang Pampanga. Lahat ng uri ng klase ng sisig andyan sa Pampanga. Sa so, sobrang kakaikot at kakakain namin ng sisig, pagpacheck ko ng BP ko, naku! Elevated. <laughs> Region 5, Bicol Christian College, Legazpi City, Albay. Region 6, West Visaya State University, La Paz, Iloilo City. Hi sa mga friends taga West in 7, Southwestern University, Cebu. And University of Cebu College of Medicine Foundation, Incorporated. Kung mag-aaral ka naman guys sa Cebu, aba, amping din sa mga Cebuano friends. Kamusta lang din ako sa Lechon, guys? <laughs> Padala naman kamo din sa Visaya, sa Iloilo ng Lechon. Guys, the best talaga ang Lechon, Cebu. I swear. Next, Region 8, University of the Philippines School of Health Sciences, Palo Leyte. Next, Region 10, Mindanao State University, Iligan City, Lanao del Norte. Next, Region 11, Davao Medical School Foundation at Brokenshire College, Davao City, Davao Region. Oh, kung nag-aara ka sa Davao guys, Durian Capital City of the Philippines. So, I love Durian ng Davao. Napakatamis, napakabango. Kaya naman sa mga friends na sa Davao, padala naman dito sa Iloilo guys. ba? Now, since you know the schools na may DOH scholarship programs, well, all you need to do is to enroll and qualify on that particular school. Guys, but one thing is, you have to meet their standards, requirements, and qualifications. Yes, guys, every medical school has their own standard and qualifications, so dapat makomply niyon para makapasok sa medical school. That is so easy, pero talagang nakakasweti. Kasi maraming medical students na mag apply dyan, so guys, kailangan yung galingan para makapasok. Okay? All you need to do is dapat taasan ng NMAT. On my next vlog, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano magkakaroon ng 99 plus na Enma. Kabugin nyo dapat yung interview nyo guys. At dapat maganda din ang iyong general weighted average in college. Now, if confident kayo sa tatlo, guys, confident din ako sa inyo. Gawin nyo lahat ng mga kaya nyo at pasukin nyo ang medical school. Now, if natanggap na kayo sa DOH Partner Medical School, that is step 1. Then you prepare all the needed documents and requirements, that is step 2. Now, this is just a minimum requirement. Some medical schools have additional add-on requirements depending on their school program. Original Birth Certificate certified by the National Statistics Office. So, hindi yun na kailangan pang magpa-DNA test. Proof of good moral character. So, dapat wala ka na commit ma-crime, no? <laughs> hindi ka nag-jaywalking, ganun. At higit sa lahat, hindi ka nagmamaneho ng walang lisensya. O, di ba? Next, Certificate of Acceptance from the DOH Partner Medical School. Next, affidavit of no existing scholarship grants. Meaning then, wala kang scholarship outside the medical school DOH scholarship program. Another one is Certificate of Residency on your specific barangay. So, dapat magpalakas ang kapitan para sure win. Diba? Next, Transcript of Records in College. Next, Original NMAT score. Okay? Hindi photocopy, original. Also, you need to comply the DOH application form. You need to properly fill in those forms, guys. Then, recent one-by-one -one ID picture taken within the last six months. So, dapat guys, sa ID pictures, dapat formal. Hindi nagsiselfie, no? Walang peace sign, no? Ganun. Walang emo, ha? Formal dapat. Itindihan. 
asli copy of combined family income tax return okay then once you completed all the documents and requirements needed all you need to do guys is to pass it on your school scholarship coordinator hindi nyo yan ipapasa sa DOH hindi nyo yan ipapasa sa Malacanang sa DOH scholarship coordinator once you completed the three steps and you were granted by the DOH scholarship program clap 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 naman guys congratulations libre naman dyan sana all di ba? okay Ano nga bang kasama sa DOH scholarship program? Ano nga bang package dyan guys? DOH scholarship program includes free book allowances, free uniform allowances, free lodging and transportation, so above all, ang pinaka-importante sa lahat, medical insurance sa PhilHealth. Dahil sa PhilHealth, may pag-asa ang buhay. Now, the DOH scholarship program also includes all the four years of your medical education, including summer immersions prior to second year and third year medical school. And take note, my bonus pa, included then ang one year postgraduate internship. Now guys, in essence, pinag-aral kayo ng gobyerno. No? Anong makukuha ang kapalit ng gobyerno sa inyo later on? Kunwari, nakapasa na kayo sa board exam, app applicants are required to serve as doctors to the government hospitals, to doctors to the barrios, local government units, or any private hospital sponsored by the DOH. So this is part of their return service system. Student grantees must also render one year of return service in the Philippines for every year of cash grants received as part of their training service responsibility. So many of our remote areas guys needed you doctors more than ever. They need proper health care and proper health teaching advices. Okay guys, hope you learned something today. Always remember that poverty is not a hindrance to success. Find ways and options for you to survive. Dahil kapag masipag ka at madiscapte ka pa, siguradong giginhawa ang buhay mo. If you like this video, kindly give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, share it to your friends and your loved ones as well. Once again, I am your Dr. Doming, saying you God bless, good day, and I love you all. Bye-bye.